Hi, we are at Herbert Hoover National Historic Site, and uh, we have uh, um, Ranger Keith here. And I'd like to ask you, um, Keith, is uh, what are the big takeaways that we can learn as human beings from Herbert Hoover? Well, there's a lot of things Herbert Hoover did that no one has any idea that he was dead. He started UNICEF. Uh, that program for raising money worldwide. Oh, He's yeah. also was a great humanitarian, saved thousands and thousands of children and people during World War I from starvation. And those are things that people don't realize about Herbert Hoover. Here at the park though, we have his home cottage that he was born in, very small little house. Humble. Uh, humble, very humble beginnings. He wanted people, he, to, he wanted to restore it so that people when they came could see you could come from these kind of humble beginnings and still do great things in America. That was one of the reasons why they restored the cottage. Yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? Great mm -hmm. man. Yes, very yeah. good. Hoover was born in a two-room cottage in West Branch, Iowa. This blacksmith shop, northwest of the birthplace cottages, is similar to the one Jesse Hoover operated. This one-room frame school was built in 1853, was also used as a meeting house. This is the Quaker Friends Meeting House. Wooden benches and an iron stove provided simple furnishings for the meeting house, which was completed in 1857. In 1891, Herbert entered the first class of Stanford University. He graduated with a degree in geology and went to work in the California gold mines. In 1897, he joined a British firm and worked as a mining engineer in Australia. Working in mines, he became known as the Doctor of Sick Mines. He circled the globe several times accompanied by his wife and two young sons working in the mining business. He was a millionaire by the time he was 40. During World War I, he helped Americans stranded in Europe return home at the outbreak of World War I. After his presidency, he was the chairman of the Boys Club of America, and he helped found children's welfare organizations such as CARE and UNICEF. Herbert Hoover was laid to rest in this hillside grave overlooking the cottage where he worked.